You know what the best part about recording this game is? And it has been a while since I've last recorded, but the best part about recording this game is that I can just record in advance and nothing's relevant. It's a game from like a decade ago. It's college football. That season's over. Nothing will be relevant, of course. I play Wyoming and two weeks later when the video comes out, Isaiah Nair, the Wyoming receiver from last season, this is not going to be real relevant to you guys watching this episode, but the Wyoming receiver Isaiah Nair transfers to Texas, who all of you guys know is my uh, school that I root for. So there you go. That's the one time it comes back to bite me, but it's been a little while since I've last recorded. I was going through the recruiting board and I have added some new players as well. Now that we're in a bigger conference, we can still recruit uh, with the California guys. We got the New Jersey pipeline. We have some really good players on the board and I've added a lot more as well. I wanted to highlight Kevin Mitchell because I was looking, going through him like, man, 96 speed. He's got 88, man, 88, or excuse me, 87 press, 85 zone coverage. He's got really high ratings. And then you look at the catching is quite high, route running too. And even though the, the uh, spectacular catch and release is quite high as well, the catch and traffic's pretty low. So I'm like, he's like a receiver uh, and maybe even like a cornerback or a safety. And then I go back and I look at him, I go, he's 6'5". So I need to get Kevin Mitchell. Hopefully my 6'5 corner. And then I added a bunch of uh, really high ranked players as well because a lot of these guys I think we're going to have a chance to get trying to build up maybe a Texas pipeline I added Nick McNeil back onto the board after taking him off I forget why I took him off but I I still think we could be in play for him so I added him back it's probably a waste but I don't know maybe we'll see and then some really really good players on here we get the Virginia pipeline uh just some good players and then I really wanted to go after this guy. Five-star middle linebacker from Rancho in California. Don't know anything about him just yet. He seems slow with that C-speed, but he's ranked really high. He's a really high overall. So I'm excited to find out more about these guys and potentially recruit them, obviously, to Riverside. Added a couple kickers as well. We do need one, and these are California guys where we get a significant amount of bonus points. And look how high these ratings are, by the way. 87 overall. That's not the focus of today's video, as we're unranked, by the way. But this is a rematch, a national championship rematch here in week two, our first game of the season. And there has been a slider update. Before we get back to Riverside Dynasty, I did want to let you guys know that finally, I know you guys have been requesting it so much. I finally made it happen. Shirt, jerseys for some of your favorite Riverside stars. Adam Daniel, Michael Hamm, Reggie Gonzalez, Greg Hall in the store, including a special black alternate as well that's the front this is the back check it out different players different options link is down below it says merch bangles slash store creator dash spring.com it's it's in the link it looks a lot easier i showed this at the end of the off season episode i believe is it in house rules it is so for custom ai the user it's going to be tough out here the only thing I did to make it easier is bo uh, bump tackling to 50, which is default. It was like 45 before and they break everything. But I put it back to default. And then for the CPU, they have some major bonuses going on. The only thing that is less than base is QB accuracy, which is 45. Uh, I've gotten the sliders from looking around and kind of playing around with them, obviously. So this is not going to necessarily be an easy game. Now... If I recall correctly, we upset Notre Dame in a crazy game. We were national champions, and then going into this next year, we're not ranked? Like, that's insane to me. How do you not rank? And we got votes, by the way, despite not playing a game this year. But how do you not rank the national champion from the previous year? I know we had a kind of a cupcake schedule, and we're in the Pac-12 now. The games are only going to get harder. But man, we're up to a 90 overall, by the way. Let's go ahead and meet some of the Riverside Royals that you guys are going to be seeing starting today. This is week uh, one for us, even though it's week two. First game that we've played. So it's going to be important to kind of introduce you guys to the roster again. At quarterback, you know him well, Adam Daniel. Ryan Davis still our dependable backup. 
he's getting pretty good at an 86 overall and uh, his accuracy is pretty good but we're rocking out with adam daniel who was amazing last year as a true freshman reggie gonzalez of course returns phil triplett our backfield's looking pretty good lee mayfield of course at running back and then receiver you guys know john humphreys michael ham justin bennett the first recruit ever from riverside california to join the riverside royals will be playing as this is his true for redshirt freshman season his true first season playing Corey warren returns as well was obviously very good for us last year but i'm excited to see what justin bennett offers and then we have barrett reed who you guys know luke tucker's wearing the red shirt we got tj fields andy harris is wearing the red shirt he was a junior college transfer but the receiver room looks pretty good we're losing john humphreys we're losing michael ham after this year and we're going to need some of these younger guys to step up in a big way at tight end blake hayford could use some more depth at tight end for sure tackle eric smith true freshman starting at left guard is robert sanders center we have joe Patton at right guard the junior kyle holloway and at right tackle santana griffin redshirt senior believe he was on the team our first ever season wearing the red shirt so he is one of the remaining guys that have played every season for riverside or at least been on the team marcus kerr will start at left end we also have james lee and true freshman tyler adams who i probably should have red shirt but maybe i can do that next season adrian chandler willie hollands returns he's making a move to right end which is what he was recruited as and he's wearing the red shirt this year at DTAC, we have phil walker you know him well john holt junior college transfer will play quite a bit and terrence brown sophomore who i considered red shirting but decided against it left outside linebacker it's malcolm sullivan the senior will be playing a lot as sam brown graduated last year we have greg hall and some new faces the freshman kyle smith eric coles was a transfer as well he's finally eligible to play craig jackson is a senior oh man losing the hall monitor greg and craig this is gonna be a really sad season tim washington's a junior hopefully he'll catch some more interceptions this year alan hart and the speedster bobby anderson micah hodges the junior college transfers wearing the red shirt we have clint black and marion bates Bates was someone I considered moving to safety, but he just doesn't fit it very well. Maybe next season. Bruce Clemens, Darren Watkins at safety, and then strong safety is Junior Brown and Earl Rice. Kicker, of course, is the senior Terrence Fitch, and the punter is Justin Lynch, who is not good. Hopefully, we don't have to punt too often, but with the slider increase and the conference increase, man, this probably won't be an easy season probably a lot more using or losing than you're used to we'll see how it goes rain coming down here in south bend indiana we are going into hostile territory for the first game of the season at notre dame rematch of the national championship funnily enough i started out and i uploaded it today the super bowl rematch from lions franchise lions chiefs to start season five this is starting riverside season five i believe yeah gotta be yeah, I think season... Is it season four? I think it's season five. I, I never remember. Uh, they're very good, obviously, but... Yeah, both rematches of the title games. Seems like, generally speaking, I win the title in season four, depending on the uh, sport, collegiate or professional. But Drew Pine is the Notre Dame quarterback. Should be an interesting player to account for. He's rated really highly. We know the Fighting Irish can fight. We played a big game against him last year in the national championship game. It was really, really close. Certainly was not easy and will only be harder today. And the kick is off. We are underway for this season of Riverside Royals football. Phil Triplett back to return. He won't have a ton of space and will fall forward. And he'll try to get back up. As here is our true sophomore leader of this team, quarterback Adam Daniel. Got Heisman votes as a true freshman and will look to have a dominant sophomore year with him. Of course, you know Reggie Gonzalez in the backfield. And there's Justin Bennett. Going to get some looks in the backfield as well as Daniel will keep it and be wrapped up for no game. Great season last year, over 4,500 yards, 30-plus touchdowns, and that doesn't even account for what he did on the ground. Really, really good player and not a great start for this game. We don't even know the icon for Michael Ham or Justin Bennett. I think Ham's going to be 
square and Bennett's gonna be R1, maybe? We'll see. That's exactly what it is, and we'll find him. It's Justin Bennett, the Riverside native, wearing number five and barely gaining two yards. But that is his first ever college catch. So shout out Riverside native, Justin Bennett. Hopefully a name we'll know very well. Don't know Michael Hamm or John Humphreys. But I have a pretty good idea. It's going to be square and circle. And we're going to look for Michael Hamm. And that's going to be intercepted by Merville. Tried to throw the curl. Timed it maybe a bit too early. And Michael Hamm never saw the football. Intercepted by Merville. And Notre Dame going to take over. This could be a really rough season as we know. These sliders are unforgiving. And this conference in the Pac-12 could be unforgiving as well. Notre Dame football. Lobbing it up. Plenty of space. Washington got lost. And it's Xavier Watts for a 26-yard gain. Notre Dame already knocking on the door. This game's only just started. Not an ideal start for the Riverside defense or offense. Things are looking very bad. What is this play? Clemens! Brucey, you gotta come up with the interception there. That was a gift. Drew Pine gave you a gift and Bruce Clemens didn't have the hands to make the catch. That is really, really disappointing. Second and goal. They're going to try a run. Get over there, Hall, and we can't. Lamar Green has a TD, and Notre Dame has the first score of the game. It'll be 7-0. We can see the Pac-12 to Mountain West matchup there. Our new conference in Arizona State beating our old conference and rival, the Mountain West San Diego State. As Phil Triplett will be back again to return for a second time. Slightly better that time, maybe. Let's get it to Reggie on a screen. He just doesn't have the speed or the space or the blockers. I don't really know the play. Is this third? Are these just going to be all kind of short routes? Now, I'm going to streak Humphreys and Ham, and when they get open and I don't throw it, you guys are going to be mad at me. I'm, I'm <laughs> trying to go deep. Trying to go deep. There's really no reason to on third and two. I had my my mind that I was going to scramble the whole play and just didn't take off with Adam Daniel. And obviously, uh, you saw the result. Not a good one. Daniel takes the sack, and we will punt with our freshman, who is not great, but that punt is muffed. Still on the ground and eventually recovered by Notre Dame. But this is a, it's a really poor start. That's super open. Man, I... It's not even my responsibility. I'm on the running back out of the backfield. Oscar Wilson has 16. Also, it's funny on offense. Hey, everyone loves to play uh, coach. Like, maybe if they leave a comment of a receiver I missed, I'll hire them. And, uh, guys, I mean, it's an hour-long recording that I have. You see three plays a game, maybe up to 10, where I make a huge mistake. It's, dude, it's going to happen. And, and, you know, mistakes are good for the series, too, because... Makes the games more competitive, but it doesn't seem like I'll need help this season. It seems like it's going to be a real challenge. Here's a pitch, and Pine is wrapped up. It's Adrian Chandler. I believe his final season with the team as well. Goes down as a tackle for loss. Good stuff from Adrian Chandler. Third and 14. Just check down to the running back. Check down to the back. Oh, he's up the field. We couldn't even see him. Oh, that's so cheese. Oh, that's so bad, dude. I couldn't even see him running up the field. Oh, what do you want me to do there? Oh, that's that's broken. Tight end in motion. It's a run. It's actually play action. That's going to be open right in front of Anderson, and Antoine Mills has the touchdown. Good throw from Pine, who's working on the move and just delivered a perfect pass. We had guys kind of out of position, and we needed Anderson to kind of react to that pass, and he didn't. Here's another studio update as Penn State number three Penn State matched up against number two Kentucky out of conference game here in week two. And Penn State comes away with the big win. Kentucky certainly going to fall. Penn State could go up to number one following that win. I like how NCAA really makes playing on the road tough. So a quick throw to John Humphreys. Good catch, John. And that's our biggest gain of the day by a lot. That's what we wanted earlier with Michael Hamm. But the corner just played it too well. And, of course, we maybe threw the ball a little bit too early as well as well. A lot of as wells in there. Do you want to get Reggie Gonzalez involved, obviously? But we're going to 
hopefully work that in and not just force it as Daniel will have a good gain on the read option. 1%. I don't really know what that means. We're going to change up the play here. We're going halfback dive. Reggie up the middle. And there we go. Just good space. We don't need to get too crazy on these second, third, and short. Just get the first down, move the chains, figure it out on first down. That's where we really want to try to get these chunk plays. We don't have to do it. Oh, uh, well, we don't have to. That makes sense. As Daniel's going to be sacked again. Just didn't have the speed to escape up the middle, and that's Riley Mills. That safety's coming up to blitz. I want to say that that should leave some guys wide open. I'm going to be slightly more conservative, though. Gonzalez wide open out of the backfield. You got to make a man miss here. He'll actually break a tackle. That's not bad. 10 or 11 from Reggie Gonzalez. Sets up third and manageable. If we make him miss with the juke, that's, you know, obviously going to be way better for us. But couldn't make that happen. Is that bracket coverage on Michael Ham? How can we take advantage of that? We'll see. We're getting out of the pocket. Daniel on the move. Daniel fumbles the ball. It's recovered by Smith. And Eric Smith, the freshman left tackle, will save us. A big fumble recovery. We would have had the first down probably with Adam Daniel. But yeah, anytime you run with the quarterback, you do run that risk of putting the football on the turf. And that obviously can uh, be really, really bad for an offense. As we'll throw to Phil Triplett out of the backfield. I know some people don't love the no gloves look. But you know what? Phil Triplett's old school. Sometimes I do just worry about throwing the ball down the field into potential coverage. It just gets a bit dicey. It's a little bit a uh, little bit weird. We're gonna throw that sideline. It's gonna be intercepted again. Williams wanted to scramble, then decided to set the feet and throw. And uh, that was just played too well by Jeff Williams. If you're getting picked off by somebody named Jeff, we need to reevaluate. Not a great first quarter for Riverside, but looked like a promising drive. Will end in another turnover. Read option. I knew it. Brown. Joseph Brown, huge tackle. If Drew, Prine, or Drew Pine breaks that potential sack or that TFL from the safety, oh, it's a massive gain. The blocking downfield was so good. Plus, another offensive lineman working up the field. That could have been really, really bad for us. And I think we are, I, I could say quite lucky because it could have been really bad. But, I mean, we got a good tackling safety for a reason. And this is my exact concern from the previous play. Is it switched me on to the wrong guy? And now Craig Jackson in pursuit will tackle Drew Pine after a massive gain of 44. So I wanted to make this adjustment after the previous play and just forgot because I was talking. Option defense, focus on quarterback. There we go. Hall, the Hall monitor all day. Got through the gap, made the tackle. We need a turnover or something. And yeah, the offense has been a big problem today. It's the biggest reason why we're down right now, obviously. However, the Bruce Clemens dropped interception in the end zone earlier. You know, that obviously cost us a lot. Notre Dame going trips left. Third and three. And they're going to go short and complete it to Jordan Johnson at the first down. And Notre Dame, I feel all but can guarantee a touchdown here. Hall, please. Oh, Greg Hall. What a great individual effort to get off that block. Disengage. Make the tackle. That's a, that's a crazy effort. If we end up saving a touchdown because of that, I mean, Greg Hall is already getting a statue outside the stadium. But we're going to build it even faster. Get out to the left. Smith fell down. And Lamar Green has a touchdown. 21 0 pending the extra point for Notre Dame. The Fighting Irish are taking it to us here in South Bend. Now, we have been down by 21 plus before. However, and I guess it is relevant because I talked about it at the beginning of the episode. However, our opponent then was Wyoming. This is not Wyoming. This is an 0-1 Notre Dame team, I get that. But this team was playing the national championship with us, you know, just months ago. So this is a this is a team that obviously we're not taking lightly because we've seen what they can do so far and can't get anything going. Looking short, stuff could have been open down the field, but 
you know, worked worked down to up or worked up to like deep to short, obviously. Listen, if we punt them the football back, they're gonna score anyway. We need Phil Triplett to take this up the middle, fourth and inches. Gonzalez in motion. Triplett looking for space and has it. Tried to cut back across the I think it was the back of the center there. Would have been a lot more uh yardage, but we got bumped. Is that safety coming up? No, he's not. Gonzalez with space. We're gonna juke back. Gonzalez with speed. Let's go, Reggie. 17 yard gain marks one of our longest of the game two rushes for 20 yards yes who's going to get the football a lot more often if we can find the weakness with this notre dame defense and if we find it to be that they can't defend the run absolutely need to take advantage of that good block on the back end triplet got to be a bit faster there we go phil he jukes back inside breaks a tackle and phil triplet has 25. i think we have found the weak point of this Notre Dame team. Now, keep in mind, though, because there will be cuts made in this video. This is a kind of fourth, breaking the fourth wall type deal. Uh, I will be running the ball on the majority of fourth or first downs here. But that's safety coming up. I might look to make a change. But I will be running the ball the majority of first downs. And if we don't get anything and it becomes, you know, second and long, second and 10, I'm not probably going to run the ball there. So you're gonna say stop abandoning abandoning the run. I probably didn't. Just you missed one. As Gonzalez will make a beautiful move. Try to truck through another and get tackled after eight. But I can assure you, this offense will be designed through runs when it makes sense in this game. Second and two is gonna be a run pretty much every time. Because we know that this can work now. Notre Dame, amazing pass defense so far but have really not been able to do much against our uh, two-headed combo of Phil Triplett and our guy, Reggie Gonzalez. But here, Smith will take a carry. Oh, he is slow as the day is long. Derek Smith, who is that? Derek Smith, redshirt freshman, 79 overall, 85 speed. How is he so slow? Could have just been a uh, little bug with the draw. He's going to take... There's no way you're taking this carry over Reggie Gonzalez. I guess it is the fullback, and they're taking Phil Triplett out. Gonzalez in motion. Smith will get it. He is so slow. It isn't just the draw. He is so slow. <laughs> Big gain for him. Oh, my goodness. I do not want to see Derek Smith in the game. Third and goal. They have four down linemen. It's going up the gut. Gonzalez, touchdown. First score of the game for the Royals. We're gonna make a push and try to fight back in this. We won't be able to run all the time because time is not on our side. We are down by two touchdowns. Now the big thing, we need our defense to get a stop. Just one, just one. LSU going toe to toe with Auburn. LSU ranked top five in the nation. Auburn unranked at Auburn. Big game, first game of the season. First game for the SEC teams and could be a huge upset. All right, responsibilities change here. We're going to bring the safety up into the box. Bruce Clemens, we're going after the quarterback. Under pressure and wide open is Xavier Watts. He'll make a one-handed diving catch. Why is Drew Pine so, so unbelievably amazing under pressure? Why is Drew Pine the best quarterback of all time? Explain that to me. Paul got run over. Lamar Green first down. Greg Hall, please. Can't let that happen to you. They're just moving the ball down the field right now. It doesn't really matter what we do. We cannot stop Notre Dame. And it's not even just, oh, they're just running the ball. Just come out and 5-2, stop the run. They're passing the ball effectively too, obviously. You guys have seen that. There isn't really a defense we can come out in. And against two running backs, it makes sense. But there hasn't really been a defense we can come out in and just guarantee success as Hall... Will at least force Joel Olsen out of bounds. I see three tight ends here. I mean, surely this is a run. If this is a pass, they fooled us all. Lemons in the backfield. Nice group tackle. Joseph Brown, is he becoming the sure tackler on this team? Already five tackles here in the first half. Two for loss. That one's huge. And now, many receivers. Two running backs, though, is a little bit interesting. Do we trust this team in man coverage? I think we do. It's our best bet. We just have to play it. It's a check down. Let's make the tackle. 
Green is well short. We're going to call a timeout. Yeah, I like that. And uh, hopefully hold Notre Dame to a field goal miss here would be ideal. But I assume they're going to make this. College kickers do miss, but this one, Notre Dame kicker, I think he's probably going to make it. And he does, right down the middle. 24-7 Notre Dame, a minute and a half to score. We still can run the ball. There's still time to do that. Two timeouts, starting from the 20, 80 yards in a minute and a half. Clock stops on first downs, at least momentarily, but like in this game, it just stops. So, yeah, I like our chances. Read option, Gonzalez has space, jukes back behind the block, and Reggie picks up the first down. Clock gonna stop. Quick throw, Corey Warren. Back-to-back -back first downs and a broken tackle for Warren. Listen, I know we all want to see Justin Bennett. Justin Bennett is currently ahead of Corey Warren on the depth chart. And I'm telling you, based off of last season, that's going to change. It's going to change. We couldn't get it to Humphreys, man. He's wide open. The offensive line just has not been able to give me the time so far that we've needed as Justin Bennett makes a great catch. Third and three. We are going to move into the hurry up here. Hurry up! I don't want to see the animation, please. How bad of an idea is halfback swing here? We can always scramble if it doesn't work, but I like the idea at least. It did not work. We had blockers out in front. That's a bit of a bold play call, though. And as you can see, I'm not going to call a timeout, but we are going to go for it. 30 seconds. Not calling a timeout because I don't want to give Notre Dame too much time if we don't convert here. I actually like Gonzalez on this route. Um, snap the ball. Yeah, I, listen, I saw Hayford. I prefer getting it, uh, you know, in the hands of one of our best playmakers. We're out of bounds. Still two timeouts. Still plenty of time. But you have to understand the conservative uh, goal of that, which is let time tick off the clock. In case we don't get it, Notre Dame would have had a ton of time to score. Just could not have that. Just couldn't. On the run, intercepted again. Oh my goodness, man. I just gotta I just gotta run in those spots. The thing is, I see John Humphreys break wide open. I think we can throw it over. He runs the route shallow back towards the DB, and it's a pick. I really don't feel too bad about that one. I really don't. But uh it obviously really bad for the situation. Down 24-7, you need all the help you can get. Pine gonna air it out. Hart nearly takes it away off the hands of the Notre Dame receiver. And that is the end of the first half. Riverside down 24-7. Won't get the football. Again, I, I know I'm going to be called horrible. I'm, I'm, it just is what it is. I, I really I really don't see that interception at the uh, end of the first half there as really avoidable. I just don't. I feel like he was open enough to get it in there. and it, I, I don't know. Pine, it's got to be an interception by Jackson Craig, please. I remember him dropping some picks last year. We got to have that. We got to have that one. Third and seven, Adrian Chandler is off the ball right now. It's a screen. And maybe that's why you have a defensive end playing linebacker. He makes a tackle. He is short of the line to gain. And on fourth and inches from midfield, Notre Dame opting to punt. Such a bad decision. But they're like, we're up 24-7. This is a community college. They were Mountain West school last year. We're going to smash them. All right. No respect. Could that be the spark that we need to get things going? Still plenty of time. But we're going to have to strike tremendously fast. It's not going to happen. Here's the thing. It's third and five. I've been too afraid to scramble with Adam Daniel today, that's a major problem. Major problem. Cannot be afraid to do what works. That's open. Bennett will be just short. And once again, fourth and short, we're going to be forced to go for it, given the score. All right, fourth and one. Why am I in gun? I got a plan. Daniel. Oh, that was crazy. But Adam Daniel with good speed. Got the first down. That's a little bit of a bold call on fourth and one there. The Notre Dame defensive ends are so incredibly fast. Got to remember, this is this is a crazy good team. 
And some of the things that work against Mountain West schools, like being more athletic, don't work against a team like Notre Dame as Blake Hayford is a big catch. See, second and 12 is a pretty ugly spot to be in. Because this can get a lot worse if we try to do too much. Trying to escape with Daniel. And he's going to put the football on the ground. It's recovered by Mills. Oh my god, man. Maybe throw it away there. I mean, we, we had yardage, but the problem is when you try to scramble and then try to truck, the game is stupid. And even when you're beyond the line of scrimmage, you're like, you want to throw? No, I don't want to throw. I'm scrambling. Turnover by Adam Daniel. It's the fourth of the game. That's wide open. Whew. Yeah, we're going to lose probably. In all likelihood. Oh, Jesus Christ. Pitch it, please, Jackson. Nice tackle. Notre Dame going to lose too. Tackling on the first attempt is big to our success. Really, really big. We are still in the game. As crazy as it sounds, we're still in the game. We just need a couple of stops. Easier said than done, but... We got to get those stops. Black. Clint Black. Right in position. We need you to jump for the ball there. Somebody's got to make an above average play. We can't just have everybody doing, you know, the minimum. We need somebody to make a spectacular play. Get us back in this game. This could be a run too. Third and six. Tight end in motion. It's going to be a run. That's a great play by Marcus Kerr. That's a spectacular play off the edge. The Fighting Irish will punt. We need points. Bottom line. It doesn't matter. We need points. 10-point game with a touchdown. Need it. Daniel working out of the pocket. This is what I'm talking about. Do whatever it takes. Daniel on the move. Fumbles out of bounds. That's why we're riding the sideline. Don't matter. Don't matter. Good game. Working the screen. It's open enough. We need that block on the outside. Gonzalez. That's like the longest we have to run to get 10 yards. I feel like that's a 30-yard run and we get 10 yards. But then Phil Triplett comes in the game and sometimes stuff changes. He breaks a tackle there. Great run by Phil Triplett. Second and two. Could definitely run the ball and try to get this. Jet sweep to John Humphreys is not going to work. We're going to run it with Michael Ham. We're going towards the wide side of the field. Should have blockers. Oh, he's just way too fast. Ugh, why Why are you a heat-seeking missile? Why are you so good? The thing is, you just don't expect somebody to make that type of a play there. Third and eight, we're going to run the ball because it's four down territory. Reggie Gonzalez, first down. I juked the other way. I don't know why it juked me right. 100% juked uh, right-left, but just didn't register. I'll take it. I know it's got to be painstaking. Being like, why are you throwing the ball here? We don't have time. We can't just... Jeez. Oh, Third and ten. My favorite down and distance. Somebody be amazing. That's open enough. Michael Ham, Drop the football. Secure the catch. Can't be afraid to go back to him. Fourth and ten. We're going Humphreys. That's someone who can make a catch when we need him. That's big. That's a huge fourth down conversion. 21 seconds to go here in the third quarter. We're going to try a screen. Need blocks. It's going to work. It's going to work. We got a block. Reggie Gonzalez, nothing but room. Touchdown. Huge TD to get back in the game. It's 24 uh, 14, right? It's a 10 point swing. If we uh, can continue this, we're going to be in a good push or a good position to make a good push. Just got to keep it up. That's it. Defense got to continue to play well. Offense is getting things going. Can't be afraid to run the football. But time is not on our side. We need to stop. Notre Dame really cannot score on this possession. Can't do it. So draw. Stay on it. Hall oh, can't make the tackle. We're right on him. We're touching, dude. End of the third quarter. Riverside down by 10. It's been an ugly game. They're going five wide with a tight end. That's a little crazy. Eight minutes to play. We're going to have one linebacker in coverage in Greg Hall. Could this be QB draw? It's under pressure and a throwaway. Third and four. Come on, defense. One play. 
allow less than four yards just a punt guaranteed four wide receivers on the field a little bit better for our uh, our defense here still got to be aware of green they have the advantage if they run the football they're not going to that can't be a completion we have 95 speed with Bobby Anderson. You got to run with everything. It's a huge conversion. Huge conversion for uh, Notre Dame. We really needed that stop. Pine going to run. Oh my goodness, the change of direction. And these random bounces. Big hit by Joseph Brown. Put the football on the ground. Dude, look at this. Under pressure, bounce. Bounce. Twice, where we maybe could have made a tackle and... Of course not. This is almost certainly going to be a run, right? I know they have three receivers. Play action. Quick throw. Joseph Brown, big hit. His first and goal. I mean, we have a guy right there. He just didn't even see the ball in the air. They're still going with so many different receivers. They have open options. It's another throwaway. One down here. Make a stop on third and goal. It's a field goal guaranteed. They're going a bunch of tight ends. We're going man coverage. This could be a little bit dangerous, but it, this is a goal line stop. Literally on the one the entire time. Third and goal. Handoff. Hall in pursuit. Can't make the tackle. Lamar Green, touchdown. Ah, that could be the game. All right, I have the solution. I've been thinking about it. I have the solution. Uh, play better. We're going to need to move the ball uh, pretty quickly here. Time is not on our side, obviously. I just need, I need no fumbles. But running with Adam Daniel is a viable way of moving the football. Second and six. Who wants to get open? Michael Ham. That should have been the first play of the game, but it was an interception. Should have been that result. Justin Bennett. Oh my goodness. We gave him a chance. Thought he was going to get open on this corner route. Didn't really have any space. Ended up being almost double coverage. Daniel took a hit. Bennett, the size. Go up and get it. The Riverside native trying to give us a chance here on the road. But a touchdown once again only makes it a 10-point game. Do we give Justin Bennett a shot? He's open. Quick throw. Justin Bennett, big catch. Bennett won at the line again. Daniel trying to get the corner. <laughs> Didn't trust the throw. Third and 14. I would love Hayford to be open here. I'm going lobbing up to Ham. Nearly intercepted. Here's the thing, dude. We got the animation of a free release on the inside. And it's pass interference like the entire way. Look at this. <laughs> the ball was in the air by this point when he was riding him. What is that? Now it's fourth and 14. Need somebody to get open. It's our best bet. Corey Warren can't hold on. Nobody got open on that one. Unfortunately, the game all but in the books now. Clem is getting after him. I mean, Tim Washington's got to save a touchdown by himself. Kind of did. They had three tight ends. I sent the house. Trying to cover that. Pine's going to be on the move. I don't know how that's not a hit stick. I don't. Just right where we were going to be. Big hit, Bruce Clemens. Doesn't matter. We have more total yards than them. The bottom line is we can't have this many turnovers and expect to win the game. Can't do it. Maybe the worst game of Adam Daniels' career. Oh, they're going to throw. Yeah, I was going to say this Notre Dame rushing attack seems pretty much impossible to stop. <laughs> Just for them to go play action and score another touchdown. Studio update. Auburn has done it. Double digit upset of LSU. And the Tigers will beat the Tigers. And the Tigers will probably fall a lot. And maybe I think the Tigers could get ranked. Corey Warren up the seam. Good ball. Warren with speed. Is he fast enough? No, but it is a big gain. Adam Daniel hit Corey Warren in stride. It's a good result. Third and five, of course, we're passing. Gonna scramble with Daniel. Get the first down. 
Inside lead, Foster, touchdown. Wow, that's a name we are not used to seeing. Foster, yeah, of course. Uh, Foster the people, remember Pumped Up Kicks? That's who that is. Foster, not George Foster. I actually, I have no idea what his name is. I'm really hoping it'll just come to me. Joe, maybe? Oh, no. That couldn't have been a whole lot worse. Can't even see his name on the depth chart here. It is, and look at the overalls, by the way. Are they boosted? Is John Humphreys a 98? I don't think so. Foster is Joe Foster, the red shirt sophomore. Look at him, 90 speed. All right. All right, onside attempt is recovered by Collins. And we're still going to fight to get back in this one. It's just going to be extremely unlikely that that ends up happening. I mean, I think this is probably going to be a run left. It's a big hit by Craig Jackson. We'll call our second timeout. We're going to try and eat up a blocker with a safety, make that play easier. Uh, no, they just blocked it really well. Dove pass it with Joseph Brown. Okay, cool. Here, I am thinking of holding Square's Heat Seeker tackle. We were apparently out of position. No, oh, Clemens got ran over. And that will be another Notre Dame score. I don't think we're getting ranked after this game. That'd be my best bet. It's going to be 45-20 Notre Dame. We got rolled. And that is your ball game. 45-20. Riverside takes the big loss to Notre Dame. Who will certainly move up in the rankings after this slaughter. Keep in mind, the Riverside Royals have not lost in over a season. Undefeated last year through the Mountain West in a couple out-of-conference games. Through the playoffs, you know, Drew Akron. And then, uh, you know, had the big upset of Notre Dame. That is not what happened here today. Notre Dame avenges that loss. Thankfully, this is week two. And we beat them in the national championship. So, who wins, really? But it's a new season. And I would say welcome to the Pac-12. But uh, Notre Dame, obviously, an independent. But this is kind of going to be the trend of this season if we don't really put things together and turn things around. Uh, Got to be better on offense. Limiting the turnovers would be great. But uh, our defense also wasn't particularly good. I and mean, when we got torched on the run, I mean, look at this for Notre Dame. You know, Drew Pine was pretty good. But averaging, you know, 6.6 .6 per carry, four touchdowns. Uh, Lamar Green just crushed us. But, uh, yeah, it was tough to move the ball. Adam Daniel throws for 300 as three interceptions was sacked five times. Offensive line really did not hold up. Under pressure constantly, but not Adam Daniel's best game. The numbers really don't look horrible. And then Re Reggie Gonzalez was awesome. Ten carries for 86 yards and a touchdown, averaging 8.6. But you go down big, you kind of feel like you're forced to pass the ball, and we were a lot at the end of the game. So uh, turnovers and uh, just uh, inability to move the football. Kind of resulted in that loss, but yeah. Going to look to pound the rock a lot more. Three fumbles with Adam Daniel. Lost at least one of those. Gonzalez, 11 catches. Had the touchdown. Touchdown for Joe Foster as well. And then a number of different receivers sprinkled in with the catches for not a ton of yards. Corey Warren, two for 81. But man, it was uh, really tough today. Got to bounce back. Got to be better. No quarterback sacks. No interceptions. Just one massive loss miami holds on to beat northwestern in a close game iowa state over army san jose state beat pac-12 colorado wake over north dakota state tennessee number 15 tennessee beat number 12 nebraska in nebraska in overtime arizona over fcs west by quite a bit i know yeah we just got pummeled but you know what the losses will only make the wins sweeter so we got crushed it is what it is we move on and it doesn't get much easier number 24 usc excellent pac-12 opener will be number 20 usc who's 1-0 we'll do a quick update on recruiting and decide to take some of these guys off the board and that might be anthony dixon from corona really liked him to be a sick cornerback and we will have no chance to get him 700 points and losing points by the week uh, there's just no shot 
There is no shot. So that's really frustrating. California guy with a plus 295 bonus. And we have no shot to get him with 700 points. Yeah, that is, uh, that is really upsetting. So Anthony Dixon is off the board. Things are looking good on Nick Hawkins, though. Defensive end with just pretty well-rounded stats, to be honest. Nobody really going after him. We don't really even need to put 405 points on him. 250 will suffice. Ooh, tied with Oregon for Bobby Reed. I think we did real well. Plus 80 from the previous week. Bobby Reed could be making his way to Riverside. 6'6", strong safety. We might build the tallest secondary of all time if we can get that corner. Or that athlete that I think can be a corner. Gonna take J.J. Lee off the board. He's a decent receiver, but we'd have to put like 500 points on him per week to get him, and I don't really want to do that. How many points is Stanford putting into this guy? I'm gonna take Mark Stanley off the board. Wow, Justin Stevens, we are gaining no ground on. Even with 700 points, he is certainly headed to USC. This is a guy I really, really want. 97 speed, 85 tackle, 80 hit power, and it would be very hard to get him. In the lead on Kurt Rhodes. Love that New Jersey pipeline. Georgia is gaining on us. We got to get this dude in for a visit as soon as possible. And then Kevin Mitchell, we're still in the game for, I think. Certainly. I like, the, I like those odds. Wow, Dominique Arnold is an interesting one. He is so not interested in Riverside that we are not even on the board after a week. Like you can see these other guys were at least in their top 10. Dominique Arnold has negative interest. From California, plus 220 bonus points. He's going to Bama. <laughs> All right, Dominique. Can look at some of these other players. These guys are at least somewhat interested. I wish the bonus points were better, but we at least have a shot to land some of these guys. Brent Davis. Brent Davis is a quarterback. 81 speed, 89 throw power, 81 throw accuracy. Definitely good. I don't know that I'm willing to sink a lot of points into a QB right now. When Adam Daniels is a sophomore. We would still potentially have two years of this guy as a starter if we did get him. And he is good. But I don't, I don't know about that one for right now. Ooh, Fred Powers, 81. Has 98 speed. Man and zone and press are pretty good. Fred Powers. I I think he's probably a running back. 93 elusiveness, 94 juke, 92 spin. Carrying is all right. Stiff arm's not great. Trucking's not great. I think he's an elusive back. That could potentially play corner. Tackling is a bit low. 98 speed's crazy. It's somebody that we got to sink some points into for sure. Man, I want I want Justin Stevens so bad. I'm going to leave the points on him. And it's, oh, it's 700. You're, you're not going to get him. You're down 90. Listen, if we can just last another week and get real close to getting him in for a visit, we can at least make it a fight. He's so good that I'm willing to waste the points. I don't really love the look of this running back. He's just fast. He's got good agility. Nothing else is particularly good. So, I mean, he's a five-star running back. Just don't love him as a player. All right, so that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Got to bounce back in a big way against USC. Pac-12 opener. First Pac-12 game that we're ever going to play in conference, where we're also in the Pac-12, I should say. We could have played a Pac-12 school before, but I can't remember any particular matchup did we play colorado last year i don't think so i think this is our first ever pac-12 matchup as well so that will be in the next video we'll look to bounce back in a big way i can pretty much guarantee you we don't have anyone in the heisman watch adam daniels number one actually all right well maybe that was a poor guarantee i why based off last season i guess it was unreal well good luck to adam daniel gonna need to do a lot better against usc to keep that spot that's for sure. Top 25 polls is where I'll leave you. Penn State is your new number one. 
Bama, and then Clemson even got first place votes as well. So should be really, really interesting to see how this evolves over the year. We have received no votes and likely are not even on the outside looking in. We are far, far out at the moment. 38. 38. So got a lot of work to do, but that'll be in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Since ain't I hit at the park, Ben Bones See me high step to the end zone My life like a game Nintendo Playing with the best, let them know Get off the track, the train's coming through Yeah, promise you get in my way Then you best believe I'ma just run over you Yeah, yeah, I'ma turn taking it back to the house Defense a joke, I'm laughing so loud